Hey guys, Mike the What's It here. So as you're watching this, I'm out on the boundary water. I've got my paddle here. This isn't one I'm taking with me, but I'm actually taking a, I'm, I'm going solo. First time going solo for five days out on the boundary waters. And I'm taking a bent shaft paddle and I'm taking a kayak paddle. And a kayak paddle is probably what I'll use most of the time when I'm going from one spot to the next. And when I go for a day trip or an evening trip, I'll get on my bent shaft paddle. I'm super excited about it. If you guys have never been to the Boundary Waters, you guys really need to go. The Boundary Waters is just... It's its own thing. It's its own experience. I went for the first time last last Memorial Day weekend with my well week with my brother-in-law. And man, we had a blast. The weather was terrible and we came back a couple days early because of the weather. And we kind of regretted it for the moment we left. But I, I think both of us had a mild case of hypothermia. <laughs> so and it was just so much, so much excitement, so much things happened. We had the first night we were in our campground, we had a pack of wolves come through. I mean, that was fun. We had a rough grouse thumping. And have you ever heard of a rough gr grouse thump? I mean, it sounds like a motor. In fact, we're out there the first time we get to our campsite. Spent from six o'clock in the morning until about 5.30, paddling straight, nonstop all day. Portaging, terrible portagings. And we get to our campsite, and I hear this pop, 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 And then pop, 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 And I said to Tim, I said, what's there, some guy with a, trying to use a motor out here? You're not allowed to have motors. And he goes, that's a rough grouse drumming. I was like, wow, you listen to that. And then the loons came up. And all night long we had an orchestra between the loons crying out and then the rough grouse. And they took turns. So that first night I could have had a, a band come play through our campsite. I would have not have heard because, I mean, I was out. Like I said, we paddled for all those what, 11 hours straight, basically. So, but it was fun. And I'm really looking forward to it. This year I'm going alone this next week. While you're watching this, I'm out here, out there alone. And then in July, I'm gonna go out again with my brother-in-law again, so for a week. So that'll be fun. So, um, so when I get back, I hope to have stories and clips to show you guys. I think that'll be kind of fun. Um, hopefully, I'll have more details about where I'm at to explain to you guys if you've never heard of the Boundary Waters and find this interesting. Or interested um, so yeah it's 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 just a for the the canoe I have is a I've got three canoes the canoe that I'm going to be taking is a Winona Vagabond it's a solo canoe it has the portage pad so you can flip it over carry it like this and it rests on your shoulders that'd be fun then I have two um, sports pal canoes. One was my grandpa's. Both made in Canada, North Bay, Ontario. So one was my grandpa's he gave me, and then one I found in Arkansas. And restored it. So, all right guys, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. And this is fun.